Welcome to another video by My Everyday Tech. My name is John and today I'm going to talk about the Poker 3 RGB's programmability. This applies to the non-RGB version as well. As we can see, this kind of uh, small keyboard have to rely on the secondary function layer so that they, you can access to all the other function key and uh, navigational keys. The Poker 3 uh, has uh, support for the onboard memory where you can program certain keys or for certain actions without the needs of uh, installing any software on your computer. That means all your configuration are stored on board the, the keyboard and when you plug in into other computers, you have access to all your settings and custom configurations. The default layer, as a previously shown, the default layer is uh, hard-coded you cannot change or program any of the keys including the function and everything but if we move to the second layer as you can see this is my layer 2 of course you have layer 3 and layer 4 so we just focus on the layer 2 and how all those programmability applies to the, uh, the same to the layer 3 and 4 to start getting into the programming mode first press the FN and control button the blue LED lights up means that we are now in uh, programming mode. Let's say I want to uh, program my Q key into a certain uh, process. Right now you can see the red LED here is blinking. That means it is recording what I'm trying to do. So let's say I type something into it. Type something. After I'm done, press menu key to save the uh, key gesture into this uh, queue key. Each key can save up to 32 different keystrokes. So to exit the programming mode, just press the function and control. Of course, just now they, they time out already because if you leave it for 15 seconds, it will automatically exit the programming mode. We can press the Q button. It is actually type something. The weird thing about this is, I have to keep my uh, the the key depressed in order to uh, trigger the I would say macro. The keyboard also supports uh, delay, as you can see. There's a the FN T G and B. You can apply the delay for each key because this now you can see I did not put in any delay. When I press the Q, it just types everything out in one swoop. Let me just uh, do something. Uh, I'll introduce the delay key into this uh, the second demo here. Press FN, Control, we go into the programming mode. Press A, we start recording. Let's say I was going to type the the same content again right now with delays let me type T I want to add 0.5 second delay Y 0.5 second delay P 0.5 second delay E 0.5 second delay spacebar 0.5 second delay save it exit okay and let's try out here. So just now you know that when I press Q, it just type on and on and on, right? How about the A? You can see that is a lot more slow because I have introduced the uh, delay for each keystrokes. The supported delay is like 1.5 milliseconds, uh, 0 0.1 seconds, 0 0.5 seconds. If you happen to screw up. Uh, your programming of this uh, layer, you can simply press the FN key and R, blink for five times, and you reset ready. Right now, if I press A or Q, yes, the memory is already cleared. That's all for the programmability of the Poker Tree. If you want to know deep switch functions. We have another video for that as well as LED customization. So thank you guys for watching. 
I'll see you guys in the next one.